Hey guys, it's Austin from Day Productions, and today I'm going to be bringing you um, a quick beginner Blender tutorial. So, let's jump right in. So, go ahead and open Blender. I already have Blender open. And this is what you'll come up with. So, you'll see the screen, you don't know what to do. Just click over here, anywhere on this uh, box right here, and it'll get rid of that annoying little screen. So, um, I don't know your computer, whether you're running a Mac or Windows or any other system, so I don't really know the controls for um, like the zoom and scroll and uh, rotate and stuff. For me, since I'm running on Mac and I'm running on a MacBook, um, I just use the multi-track uh, trackpad or multi-touch trackpad and just two fingers to scroll around and zoom and stuff. Um, so just play around with your controls that you would think it would be. And I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Um, but, so the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, this is going to be, or I didn't say yet, this is going to be um, showing you how to make a simple 3D cup. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is right click on this box, make sure it's selected. And if you see the little like orange outline, it's selected. Now hit X on your keyboard. And then click delete. All right, so now we got rid of that annoying little square. So now on your keyboard, hit Shift A, Shift A, um, and then go to Mesh and go to Circle. So now, you, <coughs> sorry, now you can see we have this circle here, and but the thing is, it has no filling; it's just empty. So in this little box down here, go to Fill Type where it says nothing, click and gone. And that gives us a nice flat um, surface or fill. But as you can see, there's still no 3D depth at all. So now what we're going to do is go down here to this little box, click on it, go to edit mode. All right, and you'll see these little vertices around the edge. Don't worry about those. They don't do anything yet. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this. And what extruding is, is it's like, um, pretty much just makes the object bigger in the direction that you pull it or extrude it, I guess. Um, I don't have a very good definition. So hit E on your keyboard for extrude. And as you can see, now when I move my mouse, it extrudes this circle and gives it volume and depth and just more like a 3D object. So bring it up about... I mean, it doesn't matter where you put it. Um, I'm going to do mine about like that. So now you can see it's more of like a cylinder shape. So you might be wondering, why didn't we just use a cylinder? Well, you can't extrude the 3D objects. Um, you can only like extrude the 2D objects to make them 3D. So, and since we're making a cup, it's a lot easier just to use the circle like we did. So now if you can see these vertices down here are black. It means they're not selected, and it gradually gets brighter. And then these ones up here are. So if I hit, we're going to scale this. So we're going to scale these vertices at the top out so it looks more like a cup shape or a cone. So on your keyboard, uh, hit S. And now you get this little tool right here. And you can make it super wide or really small, like a, a TP, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a TP. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is scale this out. So, I mean, in, depending on what kind of cup you kind of want it to look like, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, art is art. It doesn't matter what it looks like. So now we have this more of like a cone shape. And now we're going to click or hit at, uh, E on your keyboard, but don't move your mouse. Um, just left click. And that pretty much looks like it didn't do anything, but if we scale, it brings it in so that we have like depth here. So I'll show you what it would have done if we didn't do that. So this is what it would have done. If I hit S and scale it, it would have done this. But if I extrude it, extrude it down like that, so you can see we have not, we don't really have any depth here at the lip. It's like paper thin. 
and that's why we have to extrude it twice and then scale in that way we get the depth alright so now we have the depth on the lip and to make this easier go down to this little circle click on it go to wireframe and that will let us see through and see where we're dragging so now if we hit E again and bring it down so you can see it's inside but now it's outside of the, it's outside of the cup and that's fine we're going to scale that down in a minute so put it where you want it to end and left click so now you see it looks really weird if we go to solid it looks really weird it like comes through so um, we're going to fix that by go back to wireframe and hit S on your keyboard again and now you can scale this down in and voila now we have this three dimensional cup you can go back down to solid and I can see this so yeah that's pretty cool right um, so it's really simple and then uh, go to subdivide click it hold on hit A on your keyboard uh, once or twice and until it selects everything now go to subdivide click it once click it twice that's about it and um, now go back down to object mode and over here in this box over here hit smooth alright so now we just kind of smooth out all the edges on this cup and I don't know why I did that it's the first time this happened to me I don't know why I did this little um, bridges, bridges inside there, but whatever. Um, so now what we want to do is come over here and make this box bigger, and go to the little um, circle and click on new. And now we're going to add a texture or material. I don't remember which one is called. Something like that. So now you see mine is like a very matte finish. You don't see much reflection. But if you come, you can make it whatever color you want. You can make it blue or green or red. Um, I'm just going to put it as green right now because I like green. You can increase the intensity and make it brighter or make it darker, whatever you want it to look like. Um, put it back at 0.8. Uh, I think you can use ramp which will like ramp the color um, you'll have to mess with those just kinda make it look whatever you want it to and if you want mirror you can click here and you can uh, if you ref reflectivity turn that up if we come up here and I see this ball is just completely reflective and you don't see any color all it's just like a mirror so we can turn that off I don't want that um, so now it's more back to a matte finish so messing around with that, pick whatever color you want, and that's about it. So that's how to make a simple 3D object in Blender. And if you have any comments or questions, please comment in the box below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.